Welcome to the Scott McGlynn Show podcast. Please welcome your host. It's Scott McGlynn. Welcome back, guys, to the Scott McGlynn Show. We're on episode 95. Can you believe it? Whew. But uh, today we have uh, Marcus Thormeyer. How are you today? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, how about you? I'm very well. Not bad at all. How How is this lockdown? Like, where are you in the world right now? Like, um, I'm in Vancouver, uh, Canada. Right. And um, it's not too bad here, I guess. So that's good. And also, yeah. Vancouver is a very green kind of nature city and i'm really into that so being here is not bad because you can just like kind of take a hike by yourself and yeah is enjoy that what nature doing? Like, you've been going out a lot like hiking and stuff is that is that, mm-hmm. what, you, is that what you've been up to Sorry. going out like hiking and stuff like that um yeah but like not even like a huge day trip or anything you can just kind of do it just do a hike uh, there's like a couple like a 10 minute walk from my house so you just kind of do that if you're kind of feeling too uh going kind of crazy inside yeah i i understand right yeah I understand. how was like the weather over there? it's like a lovely weather because it got loads of nice weather recently yeah it's kind of been the same here it kind of like every week you check the weather on monday and it says it's going to rain the whole week and then like five days turn out to be super sunny and you're like oh that's a that's a pleasant surprise. Uh, yeah. I know for the UK as well. Like, I don't know if you've ever been over here, but it's quite rare for us to have quite of a nice day. And like, we've been having nice weeks, which is quite lovely to joke because we've been locked in, you know, it's tough to do, right? With yeah. nice weather. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's good. But um, thanks for coming on the show. Um, I'm quite excited to get you on because uh, your story is amazing. And I think the listeners will love this. So um, thank you for coming on. Um, no problem. So, no worries. So, um, I obviously I know a lot about your history and what you do. Um, but anyone out there who may not know you, where you've been, number one. Uh, but the second thing, like, do you want to tell us a little bit about your background and, like, you know, what you do? Yeah. Um. So I think probably the most, uh, yeah, the biggest thing probably about me is that I'm a swimmer. Uh, I went to the. 2016 summer olympic games and yeah i've just kind of been on the canadian national swim team since uh i i yeah i don't know i'm kind of bad at saying this kind of stuff i guess no but like, but that like, yeah. that as a big like, that sport is you know i i'm going to put it out there so i'm not going to say this because you're just on the episode with me today but the only fitness thing i do is swim like i'm not a gen person i don't like running you know you know swimming is the only kind of fitness i enjoy um yeah and obviously reading up about your history like you kind of got involved in swimming and when you was like about 10 years old right is that when you kind of really got into it then yeah because that's a young age you know just to kind of get your to do that thing you know what i mean yeah um yeah i think i started swimming when i was 10 because uh yeah, I think kind of along the same thing. Like, my parents were like, "Hey, you, we want you to do a sport," but I was kind of bad at every other one. Yeah. So we eventually landed on swimming, and it was something that I wasn't terrible at. So then they just kind of kept me in it, and yeah, so that's kind of how I became. <laughs> that's how I became a swimmer. Yeah, but like I, I read, I read like a couple of articles before, not on you, just in general about like sport and when people go in especially like an Olympic kind of level, like, you know, you're up four o'clock, 5 a.m., you know, going to the pool, mm-hmm. swimming before school, and then after school, sw- swimming again. Is that the kind of thing you was going with, like your routine? Yeah. I think when I was in, yeah, we have like days where you do more than one practice. So you like go get up in the morning, soup ridiculously early, go to the pool, and then go to school and then right after school you go back to the pool and you come home and I honestly don't know how I did that as a kid (laughs) because thinking about that now it's even the yeah I don't need yeah that's yeah but that's the thing so yeah it's so much training and so much like you know you gotta be really strict um you know and getting up that early in the morning like no one wants to do that right and being so young and like 
determined to do it and you know it pay i i always say like hard work pays off and obviously you're one of these people that shows that um you know yeah you know. um well the mornings have not gotten any easier <laughs> i can say that right now um but yeah still grinding away at it today so yeah. like how old are you right now then like uh, I'm 22. 22. So literally, it's like been over a decade of you doing this. That's yeah. Isn't that crazy? Like when you say it out like that, it's like 12 years. Woo. Yeah. What, and do you still years. have this like strict routine, like going to the port like early in the morning, like t- twice a day or? Um, right now, no, because all the pools are closed. Right. But yeah. I kind of try and keep myself on uh a bit of that like kind of theme uh just try and like have a bit of self-discipline so i'll get up at like seven every morning and try and do a at-home workout by myself yeah yeah do you like those kind of things though because I- i'm not a massive fan to be honest of these home workouts so <laughs> uh, uh, are you kind of like are you in or is, is it like kind of like you know you just got to keep going and got to keep active some way is that why you want it is that why you're doing it or is just because you just your mindset to kind of like fitness and being keep going and you just you just do it i think there's like uh yeah there's like a lot of reasons for it one of the things is like i kind of i kind of just want to it's kind of fun to well for me to work out on my own just to try and see just because then i have so much freedom i can like do whatever i want is it like hard like obviously you haven't got your pool there have you got a pool at home at all um no i kind of just live uh on well i'm going to university so i just live on a little university campus apartment with uh well i would even yeah i have it's a three-bedroom apartment but my roommates aren't here right now so i kind of just live alone (laughs) oh man what where what they just gone back home is that what that's what's happened or yeah um yeah they just kind of go home because uh they both have access to pools where they're from so they're just doing that all oh, right I, that's because like if that if i was in your shoes i think i would just be so like hungry just to get into a pool you know uh, yeah <laughs> i never thought i would you're always kind of like wow i wish i had a break and then the break is like forced on you and you're like wow i kind of wish i could get back in so <laughs> it's kind of yeah, funny exactly like you know it's lovely in it you know when it, like week one week two of the break is like lovely but then you know i don't know what it's been like for you but here in the uk i think we're going into like maybe week 11 right now so mm-hmm. um which is a lot longer than we, we <laughs> thought but how long have you been like on lockdown complete lockdown um i I think I lost count, but somewhere in March is when it started, early yes. March. So that's the same as us, I think. It was like in mid March. <laughs> but well, anyway, but h- how you like keep them positive? Like, because obviously we know we keep them active and doing some like home workouts and stuff like that. But like, like mentally and like, you know, how to keep you, and because you're on your own, you yeah. know, it must be a little bit harder than some people who's in lockdown with somebody. Yeah. Um, I think technology really helps with the loneliness. Yeah, I like, say that, yeah. man, because people always ask me that. I'm like, yes, like, we're kind of, yeah. like, lucky. We've got, like, social media and, and podcasts mm-hmm. and, you know, stuff like that just to keep connected. Just hearing someone's voice. Um, I have uh, friends who we do, like, a Zoom call every now and then, and we kind of started a book club type thing. Oh, cool. Okay. And then I also t- I started an online summer course, and I also uh, our swim team does weekly Zoom calls as well, where we all give each other updates. So it's been actually like easy to have contact with people because of technology. But still, at the end of the day, like living alone and like <laughs> you know like what is yeah is like only so much things you can watch on like netflix and whatever and catch up on so many different things and then it yeah. does get boring like it does so i'm kind of glad that you've got like your book club and you get in zoom meetings here and everywhere so that's yeah. quite nice to kind of but that's the power like you know i think 
if we didn't have the technology we had today and we're in the situation we're in, I think it would be a lot harder. Yeah. For sure, you know? Um, like, open letters to our friends. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, yeah. what, would, what would be, like, the first thing, you know, when this is all over? Like, where's going to be, like, the first place you're going to go to? Like, um, I don't even know, because I, I, like... I can't even think about that. <laughs> I think, like, I don't even know what I would do. I would definitely, yeah. Just, like, well, I'd probably have to go to the pool first thing. And then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> but, like, and is then, it, like, maybe, like, a favorite restaurant, you know, something you just want to go, oh, I just want to have, like, a burger? Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah. There's a place, um, I think it's Canadian, a Canadian chain. It's called Earl's. Okay. And, I just love their happy hour. Oh, oh, drinking. Um, even their food too. But yeah, just like a casual, like it's like kind of a hub that you go to with friends. And okay. it was actually the last place I went to before the all shut down. And it's probably going to be the first place I go to when it all opens up again. <laughs> yeah, it was the last. It's going to be the first. But let's live. It's something to look forward to, I think. And I think it's just it's just taking us all well hopefully everyone to think you know what we got and what we have in our lives and what we kind of maybe take things for granted like every day you know? yeah um but yeah so um let's talk about um obviously we you know you do your swimming and you're amazing and guys i'm gonna link his instagram and everything so go and check him out because he's very cool to look at <laughs> um but isn't it an important thing i wanted to come on the show today and it was about because you come out as well right yeah um, um, was that in 2016? So I think, yeah, I came out in 2016, but I didn't really like do any public stuff until I wrote a short story essay kind of thing okay. and submitted it, I think, earlier this year. Oh, About so this out. year? But like, yeah. So I like came out to all my friends and stuff and I wasn't, I wasn't like in the closet, but then I kind of just took it a step further in 2020. So like earlier this year and kind of was like, I should write a story about it. I should like, uh, yeah, talk about my experience. So, yeah. Like, so, um, like, did you post that? Like, what was it online? Was it like, what did you post? Yeah, there was a, like a, a website called out sports and I kind of, I heard about them, so I yeah I just looked up their website, kind of read some of their content, and then I decided I was gonna write a story about my experience, and then just hope that <laughs> it turned out okay. Yeah, exactly. Well, of, of, I know the press and all that kind of thing, like picked it up and and then stories on it, right? Like I know I think that's how maybe I found you actually through. Yeah those kind of things but um yeah it's definitely in a positive way and I'm, I'm so happy you did it because it's not the easiest thing in the world to do um yeah. like when because obviously i know you're in the team and stuff like that like did they kind of was they kind of bothered with it or they were just like okay i think uh i'm super lucky today because i think we're in such like a progressed society that no one was bothered and no one had an issue with it like all my friends were super supportive and yeah, they didn't look at me any different. And I think that has a lot to do with like, or that's just like a showcase of how far we've been able to come yeah. in like acceptance and everything. Um, but yeah, like my friends, they were like super nice and like very, like the, they're, they, yeah, they're like the best friends you could ask for when I came out. So Mm. Are these the people like, they're your friends and on your team for the swimming team as well? They're the same people you yeah. speaking about. Yeah. I yeah, oh, I yeah. came to the swim team first because I spend the most time with them. So yeah. Yeah. Oh well I'm very I'm very happy for you. And um it takes like because I've, I've had so many people on the show and you know I am on episode like 95 right now, and I every single person is gay or lesbian who whichever on the show but i've had a lot of um gay actors and stuff like that on the show and but they i've heard stories though before 
well, they've told me, <laughs> like, you know, they kind of delay their coming out for the Korea side of things and kind of not affect it that way. Do you think that was an issue for you? or um, I don't know, because I haven't really, I don't really know, because I haven't done any from sports side before, you know? <laughs> yeah, um, I think I just, uh, I came out when I was like, I think, 17 or 18 okay. and i think that i came up because i didn't want to be in the closet anymore and that was like uh because it's kind of draining uh i didn't want to like hide who i was from my teammates so i just kind of came out because it was a lot to like be in the closet and still train and like train for like the Olympics. So I was kind of, yeah, I just did it. I didn't really think about any professional side of anything. I was just like, I want to do this because right now I don't feel like it doesn't feel right to me to be like not telling my friends like who I am completely. So mm. I and, did it. <laughs> yeah, it, but it is like living like a double life, right? Like, um, yeah, you know, I, and I completely understand. I'm, I've been on your shoot, like in where you're coming from. I've been there. Um, mm -hmm. Probably a lot of the listeners have as well. But it, and obviously, when you spend a lot of time with these people, you don't want to come across like yeah, like you're lying to them, basically. Um, yeah, because like the, just think of the questions. I don't know if it's ever happened, guys. I'm just going to put a, a story out there. <laughs> But like, if someone like picked you up from training and it was the guy in the car, you know what I mean? They were like, "Who's that? Who's?" They'd just be twenty-one questions, right? Like, just, yeah. And you just didn't want that kind of thing. I don't know. I didn't know. If, I don't know if this even happened to you. By the way, I just putting something out there. Um, well, yeah. Yeah. Also, like, I knew I wanted to start dating, and I would. These are like my closest friends. I'm gonna have to tell them eventually, and it was just like, I didn't want. Yeah, it was super. It's just, yeah, like what you said, a double life. Like, and I don't want to, and I, I hate lying. Like, it is like, I, I just, I can't lie. Just like something about it. So, like, I feel like in those situations, it would stress me out so much. So, I just, um, yeah, I just came out. Yeah. And then once I came out, I was like, just the, the level of like, uh, there's so, well, yeah, my friends are great people. And I was like, so relieved to finally do it that I was like, kind of thinking to myself, like, wow, I can't believe that I was scared to come out to my friends because they were like the most accepting, like, like the best group of people that I know. And yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, I was just kind of, I I look back and I laugh a bit because I'm like, wow, I was really in my head before. Yeah. Like, why did it take so long for me to do this? And I'm thinking it's, yeah. it's nothing. <laughs> like, it was nothing. Like, is these, is these guys and girls or just girls? Like, what kind of, are they just a mixed group of friends? What? Yeah, it's just a mixed group of mixed friends. Group. Um, we're all, uh, I think we're all really close because we're uh, training to make the Olympics together. So we're like the... Uh, the high performance group. I think there was like 10 of us maybe ish around there. And yeah, people of like all ages, like my age to maybe like 20, well, not all ages, I guess, but like a large range. I think yeah. my age to around 30 of just like equal mix of guys and girls, like everyone in the different stages of life. So everyone's like seeing a lot of different stuff. Uh, and yeah, just it's a very diverse group of people and a really good friend group. So yeah, yeah, which is what what everyone needs in their life, right? So it's quite yeah, yeah, it's nice stuff. Like, did um, because you know, obviously, like Tom Daly, and then I don't know if you know uh, who Gareth Thomas is. He's like an ex rugby player here in the UK and Wales. Uh, but like, did they kind of just? Did you know about these stories? Be obviously, Tom Daly, you might have known about, right? Yeah. Um, but like you just because people from a sport background Korea, um, did they kind of give you any inspiration in a way or you just think I just gonna I do it? I just did it myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I was like so in my head that I couldn't even think about anything else and I just right. did it. 
Um, I do think it's cool that like having done it, I think it's cool when other people like, I like, I think I looked more into it after I came out than before. Cause I think it was like, um, I don't know. I don't know why, but it was just like, I think it's so interesting that, and so inspirational when other people do it and kind of just, uh, be like role models in a way and just like kind of show like, yeah, I don't know. Just, you can be successful and gay and everything. Yeah, and it, 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 I don't know what it is. It's just something circles when it's in the sports yeah. category. You know, when it, when you come from that kind of cat, it, whatever sport it is, it, it, it don't know. It's something around there, right? So I I don't know what, but it's never just simple or easy these days. Like I know it is, but like sometimes it ain't. You know, always like a like something. Yeah. So um, yeah. I, so, are you seeing anyone right now? For anyone listening out there? <laughs> <laughs> um, just... Yeah, I'm currently single right now. Uh, right. Was that the question? Sorry. Well, well, yeah, no. Wait, if you were seeing anyone, but you say you're single, so that's that's cool. Yeah. I'm um, uh, I'm just super busy with uh, school and swimming. Um, I think I always try to date people, and then I end up like leaving for a month for like a training camp or a competition or something <laughs> come right. back and then i have like i have to catch up on all my projects and assignments and then still like go to all work all my workouts on top of this so i'm like sometimes <laughs> so yeah it's just i think dating has been uh kind of difficult from yeah. that aspect are you training for like the next olympics like are you uh I, yeah you are, I think, right. I think the, well, I was training for the Tokyo 2020 ones, but now those have been moved to potentially the Tokyo 2021 ones. Yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm still working towards those, uh, which is why I'm still working out every day, kind of just trying to keep fit. Mm. I know. It, yeah, I didn't even think actually, because obviously how hard it is maybe to keep like a relationship or like a dating or something for people in your kind of industry or any person training like this you know like how hard it is to do that because I didn't know you go away for like a month like yeah um I think yeah. that it's doable for sure but like I think it's just really hard <laughs> and I just like I guess I'm just not like too ready for that right now um yeah. you're still young so you it's all fine yeah, hopefully. You know, yeah, like I think the best, you know, do your goals that you have in your life, um, you know, and do the things you want to do first, and then yeah, you can always then. get dating after. But you know, you've you've done a couple of date. Obviously, no one's dating right now, anyway, so you're not the only one right now. So it's good. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's talk. Well, I actually um, before I'm gonna get, I'm gonna I put out a tweet actually asking my followers and. Uh, followers of yours you know just to kind of say if they've got any questions i am going to get into that one in a minute so yeah i don't know what they're going to be like i think people's been tweeting me all day about this by the way so i do apologize in advance but i will say avoid any rude ones just like this. sorry about that guys um but like our interest because you know it is like a celebrity show and stuff like that like have you got any celebrity crushes and yeah. we may know of celebrity crushes um yeah, yeah. so <laughs> go on everyone has one <laughs> yeah um i actually like uh i don't have that many okay. celebrity i think i only have like one or two and i actually like don't even i think like i had i don't know i just i okay yeah i guess <laughs> <laughs> i think that if i were to have like one celebrity crush like right now, it would be um, Tom Holland. <laughs> Tom Holland. Oh, yeah, Spider Man, right? Spider Man. I think, um, and I haven't even, the thing is, I haven't even seen, the only movie I've seen of him is like the one of the uh, Avengers ones. Oh. <laughs> one, like, I don't even know, maybe it was that like around a year ago or like less. 
Yeah, but I, I, well, depends which one it was. There's been quite a few, and he's had his two single movies out since. <laughs> yeah, um, okay. I, I think, um, yeah. He so just he'd like, be the, and he's English, by the way, and I think he is back in the UK, to my knowledge, that I know of. So, um, yeah. so he'd be like the one. Like, I'm just going to put one. it out there, you know, and shoot me down if you want to. But like, obviously, Tom Daly, he's very handsome, and if he, yeah. if he come out as gay, I know he's married and kids and all that kind of stuff. Now I get that, but like, yeah. if he was single, do you think? I know you kind of like don't cross paths because you do two two different things. Yeah. But, you know, but the pool's involved, so you never know. Uh, like, yeah. would you think, oh, you know, I'm just going to slip in my number? Or, you know, would you kind of just go there? Um, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, why not, right? You know, but, I, think, uh, I've, I actually saw him once before in my life. Oh, okay. Um, I think he doesn't, he wouldn't remember because it was just in Rio. I was like, uh, I was leaving the dining hall. And then it was really dark outside and I always trip for some reason. I can't walk. And then I tripped right in front of him and I almost like ran into him, uh, like fully, like almost took him out. Oh, but then I stopped myself and I looked up and I was like, oh no, like I almost hit this random person. And then it was him. And I was like, oh, I almost hit Tom Daly. Oops. And then I kind of just like ran away after that. <laughs> yeah. But, but, oh, the, but was that when he was married or dating Dustin? Yeah. Yeah, probably, uh, probably. yeah, 2016. So yeah, probably. Oh, but just that—that that would have been a lovely. Do you know, that would have been like a lovely couple there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tripping into him, and I think I'm quite a bit taller than him as well. So I, I was going to say he—he he is a bit short, right? And how how tall are you? I'm like six six or something, like two hundred centimeters ish. So oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, I'm I think six I, three, I, and you're like you're six six. Yeah, so I think, yeah, like <laughs> I was just like a very large person who almost like completely. Oh yeah, you would have kind of knocked him right, right out. Yeah, yeah I think. Kind of, <laughs> yeah, yeah definitely. I I can see that. <laughs> I, I I knew you were tall because I've I've seen um like live interviews of like video ones, and I know you're quite tall. Um, mm-hmm. And obviously in the pool, like that's like I can see it like as a bird eye view. Yeah, but it's like okay, he's tall. It's like oh maybe he's like maybe like six one, maybe six two, <laughs> six three. But then I didn't know you were like six six. I thought was that's that's a tall one, right? That's like it's like, like yeah. one of the tallest people like in the swimming world. Yeah, yeah no, I like I would say yeah, I'm like one of the tallest. But there's still people yeah. people taller than me. Oh and... wow. And like I don't know how they find clothes because <laughs> I struggle to find like shirts that fit me. So yeah, I'm just people like taller than me and like have like wider shoulders than me. I'm just like, where do you guys shop? Because exactly. And I mean, any listeners out there, and we can say about this, Marcus. But being a tall person, you know, it's lovely. Yeah, and but obviously we kind of slim, right? Because we're so tall. Mm-hmm. But um, like arm wise, like I got, I I can probably fit in a medium, but like recently I have to go like a large just because of my arms and my my shoulders, like just so wide. Yeah. You know? Are you on large? Like large? Is that the same as you? Or <laughs> yeah, like, I kind of am in the same situation where like geez. either like the body fits or the arms fit. Sometimes it's mm. it's kind of a. Yeah, being tall is a struggle, I guess. That's a tricky one. I'm with you 100%. I am with you on this. Like, I didn't... It might be a bit harder for you because you're more broader than me, I think. But, like, for arm-wise, you just have to get bigger sizes just because yeah. you've got bigger... Like, longer arms. Like, because it's a medium. Like, it stops, like, on my elbow, yeah. kind of. That's, I've given up on the arm. I just, like, get a long sleeve and it just roll up the sleeves. I've, I've given up on trying to find <laughs> shirts that fit the arms. I'm a, roll, I'm a roller as well, and everyone tells me off for it. So, like, um, like when I'm on, like a, a, like, a shoot or something, you know, and obviously people give me clothes to be in, and I'm rolling up the sleeves because it's, like, a natural thing I do, and I get told off all the time. Yeah. About doing it. I'm like, I'm sorry. Because like, <laughs> I'm just, yeah, it's just a natural thing. So I'm with you on that one, yeah. With you. Right, yeah. I'm going to jump in these um, questions I've, I've uh, put out there for everyone to answer. So I'm going to just fire away at you. It's not crazy. I won't, I won't keep you for very much longer. But um, mm-hmm. 
We have this one. This is from Lissy, and she's asked, what's your favorite vacation spot would you like to visit? Well, what is your favorite spot? Oh, where would I like to visit? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what she's trying to say, yeah. <laughs> um, I think, so, I've kind of been, like, all over the world because of swimming. Um, but I only see their pools most of the time. <laughs> so I never really get to know, like, their culture, or, like, um, different countries like basically I go there and I come back and I'm like wow that was a fun pool but these like like on the way to the pool I see like really fancy things so I actually do kn I have like a couple places that I want to visit that I know that I've like been to because I was competing yes okay. so I want to go um, to France and like France and Spain ish oh yeah lovely weather but, but like more of the uh not like the big cities but more like the countryside yeah french has a lovely uh countryside yeah That's yeah awesome um i drove through once from one pool to another it was like a really long it was like probably like a four hour bus ride but i was looking out the window for most of it and i was like wow this is actually beautiful and then also japan as well mm. well hopefully you're going to be going there next year so, yeah yeah but just Hopefully have a little bit more time for yeah spend an extra month i think yeah. japan kind of similar to i think uh i'm more of a rural like countryside person than a huge city kind of guy yeah so I get you. yeah too. yeah so with both of those i would like to kind of go in a more like less populated dense area and kind of just look at the uh the nature have you ever been to the uk uh not yet no but okay. that is i want to go to london and then also kind of up north to like the lake district area kind of places oh yeah you know oh my god you god you studied geography or something yes <laughs> yeah. um it's because also in one of my courses we were talking about uh ecological restoration and the professor just pretty much uh, showed us all these places around the world that have like uh, that have a lot of nature and like environmental, they're just like environmental projects. Yeah. So I was also note taking during the class. Like, all right, I got to visit here. I got to visit here. So. Oh, you're amazing. And would you, would you jump in the lake for a quick swim or not? <laughs> um, probably not. <laughs> no, no, neither will I. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so we got um, Lucia is the next one, and she's put, what's your favorite meal? My favorite meal? Yeah. Um, I think, so hard to choose. Um, I know, I couldn't choose this, mine. If that was someone asking me, I'd be like, ooh, it's too many. I think <laughs> I'll answer that with my most favorite meal recently, I guess, um, because my most favorite meal of all time, I couldn't even... I have no idea, but no. I think, so I live at home or I live in this apartment alone, but I, uh, went home to visit my family recently, which is like a 40 minute drive for me. Right. And, uh, and then I had uh, my, my mom's cooking and I was like, wow, I really miss this. Just like, um, she's Chinese. So she made like, a fish and rice and like chicken wings and some leafy greens i forgot what they were but yeah just eating that and then coming home to or coming back to my apartment and then having to like cook all my meals <laughs> I'm just wow i met like i would say yeah right now my favorite meal would probably just be like literally anything my mom makes <laughs> yeah I, yeah mom moms and dads you know they always make the greatest meals right and the, and when you do go like move away um that's one thing you do miss until you have it again you know you just don't know you're missing it until you go back and have yeah. it yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i got you yeah but there we go and um so that's that one and then we got karen and she goes what oh what are you doing to keep positive in the lockdown so we, def we definitely touched on that karen so definitely listen back on the start of this episode you move to hear it and then we've got tina and she's asked um what's your favorite music artist music artist yeah um, i get really uh my music taste is extremely like jumpy where i like go from like one 
genre to another in like a day, like completely like make a new Spotify playlist, like spend hours on it and then delete it for like a new one in the same day. Cause it's, I don't even know why, but my music taste is so jumpy. But right now I think I'm coming off of a Beyonce phase and I'm going into a dead mouse phase. Okay. Cool choices, by the way. Like, yeah, really nice. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I think I am music. I I don't know if this is like you, but it reflects on my, obviously my mood. Yeah. Um, I think the weather as well, like, you know, when the sun's shining, I just want to listen to like, you know, I beat the chill out mood, you know, and just the classic, I beat the tunes and it depends what it is, you know? Um, Yeah. But yeah, I got, yeah. I can get that. Yeah. (laughs) So your playlist changes all the time, Tina. That's how we say him. Um, but thank you so much, Marcus, for coming on. Um, I really appreciate you taking your time out to have a chat. And yeah, uh, hopefully this lockdown is not going to be on for much longer. So we get you back to the pool. <laughs> yeah. But enjoy yeah. the rest of your day. Yeah, thanks for having me. That was fun. You're welcome. Take care, Marcus. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Scott McGlynn Show podcast. Make sure you tweet us at Scott McGlynn and let us know what you learned or enjoyed from the show today. And make sure you subscribe to Apple Podcasts, Spotify and iHeartRadio.